Hi, I'm Chip Gibbons, and I'm a musician, songwriter, and composer, probably just like you. And today I want to talk about how to hook up your keyboard, a MIDI keyboard, to Animoog running on your iPad. I'll also talk about the uh, pros and cons of buying the adapter cable from uh, Apple or buying a cheap Chinese knockoff. The device that you need to hook your MIDI keyboard up to the iPad is this uh, lightning to USB camera adapter. This is a genuine Apple one that I purchased for about $30. This is what it looks like when you get it out of the box. There's the USB end and there's the lightning end. Um, you can get much cheaper ones uh, from China through eBay or probably on Amazon too, but um, here's one that I bought for my old um, my old uh, iPad, from the Generation 4, which had a 30-pin connector. This thing always worked great. I think I paid about $2 for it. I never had any trouble with it. I, I did try the same thing again with the, when I upgraded to a Generation 6 iPad, which has the lightning connector. And I got this thing from China. Looks very much like the Apple one. But... It seemed to work in the beginning, but then it started giving me all kinds of error messages, and the iPad said that the device, the, app, the adapter was not supported. So, it was unreliable. So I went ahead and bought the, the genuine Apple version, which has worked fine. In order to hook the a MIDI keyboard up, it needs to have um, a USB cable coming out of it which you then hook into the USB end of the adapter. And then you can turn around and put the lightning end into the iPad connector like that. And then you want to go over to the setup on the menu. And you see this MIDI up here and this, this upper section. I just touched it and there's my keyboard, Yamaha DGX205 underscore three. This is a really old keyboard, it's about 10 years old, it still works great. Now, you'll still be able to make sounds using the keyboard on the iPad, but you might not get any sounds out of the, uh, out, of, out of your MIDI keyboard. So what you need to do is Make sure that the keyboard is highlighted, turns white. And there you have it. And you can actually use both keyboards at the same time. Another thing that you might need to check if you're not still not getting sound is whether your your keyboard has a PC mode or a computer mode that enables the USB connection. Um, mine has a PC mode with three settings off, one and two. And it works great in off. It doesn't work at all in mode one. And it does work in mode two. So that's another thing you need to check, that, and it's totally dependent on your keyboard. So there you have it. It was a piece of cake. Um, it gives you a lot more flexibility with the, the Animoog app, which is a fantastic, fun app. Just unlimited sounds that you can make with it for your iPad. Um, if you want to hear what I did with it, go out on streaming and uh, your favorite streaming platform and find my album called Isolated Incidents. Every sound on that album was made with Animoog. Um, I'll be making more of these videos plus some other music related videos so please subscribe to my channel and like this and I'll see you next time. Bye.